Tonight with the big news involving Fantasy Island, the amusement park is now under new control and it and work is already underway to clean it up. Good evening, everybody. I'm Mary Alice Demler and hello everyone. I'm Scott Levin. It has been over a year now since the park closed, but finally after five potential buyers, a lease agreement is now in place officially only on two tonight. Our Rob Hackford got a special walk through the park from its new owner. Fantasy Island is literally getting a new lease on life with the Chicago investor Gene Staples in the final stages of signing a lease for the property. He was out Thursday assessing the massive amount of work that will need to be done to bring it to working order. The number one task is just park cleanup and, and securing, securing the park. Uh, going through pretty much every door every, has been kicked down, every window has been broken in this park, unfortunately. The rides are overgrown, others are in pieces. For Gene Staples' plans to get back on track are starting right away, beginning with this request to unwanted guests. And we really are asking for any of the urban explorers to please treat this now as a not vacant amusement park that is an occupied amusement park. Occupied and in progress, with lots of parts and pieces to check over and repair. The old maintenance shed will definitely see a lot of use and security staff will be in place starting this week. The long term plan? Yeah, we hope to have the water park open sometime in early July, uh, pending any um, issues or otherwise. Uh, but we do intend to hopefully have that uh, open then the actual amusement park opening in spring of 2022. It's progress that Grand Island Town Supervisor John Whitney is pleased to see. Some tax relief for Staples and his team will also come after the assessment of the property was lowered. We're very happy that it's going to be back because it really was part of Grand Island and we hate to see it go away. It's a great day for uh, Grand Island, it's a great day for Niagara and the western uh, New York region, Buffalo. Well, the new name and the concept for the park are still under wraps, but Staples says Western New Yorkers will not have to wait long, about seven to ten days for that information to come out. Reporting Rob Hackford, Channel 2 News.